Carpet. It's Jazz Rose and today I am starting the Chloe Ting two-week shred challenge. Oh boy. You've probably seen these videos floating around. I'm probably super late to the trend, but I really wanted to try this out for myself. The videos I've watched, people have such good results and since being at home, like, all the time, I've gained a few kilos. Like, too many kilos. I have yet to see somebody of my body type do this kind of challenge. I've either seen skinnier girls do it, or I've either seen plus size girls do it. I'm kind of, like, in the middle. More of, like, the smaller side. I do have a weight goal. I do have a goal of how I want my body to look. And yeah, so I, I think this challenge will be really good for me and me filming it is going to make me hopefully feel more motivated because if I know that I have to film it, then I won't go and eat a block of chocolate. So now I'm going to show you my before shot. I wanted to wear my pajama pants so I'm not wearing anything tight like active leggings so it's not like pushing more fat out. This is me just naturally. I've really let myself go in the past like month or two. Now I don't have any measuring tape so I cannot tell you my measurements but my weight is currently 64.8. Just a couple more things before I start the workout. Just keep in mind that every body is different. People's bodies work in different ways. Their body could just react in different ways, you know what I mean? This is the last thing. Some people might not know this because I don't really talk about it or like share it in my videos much. Um, I am a mother to two kids and I had caesareans for both kids. Isn't that weird to think? I've never actually birthed a child and I have two. <laughs> so yeah, I had two caesareans and I'm left with like a pocket of fat in my belly and it's really hard to get rid of like ask anyone who has had a cesarean who isn't like a supermodel skinny they will tell you that it is extremely hard to get rid of that pocket of fat I call it a pouch some people call it a pooch but I call it a pouch and it's it's something I've been really self-conscious about ever since I had my first child and I will hopefully make it a bit smaller in this workout. Also, please don't forget to check out my clothing brand, Moody Monday. I do everything myself. I pack orders, send them off, pay for everything myself. So if you were to check that out, that would really mean a lot to me. All right, see you in the lounge room for day one. Ow! Okay, bye. I actually don't have a yoga mat, so I'm gonna have to use the rug down there. That Hey, stop! <laughs> This is gonna be fun, isn't it? So yeah, I might end up getting like really sore hands and knees and everything. Just... Workout one, here we go. Hey, go away! Really as close to the opposite elbow. Oh god! <laughs> I've almost finished the first workout. Uh, Oliver won't stop crying because he wants to get out of the high chair. If he gets out of the high chair, he's going to go straight to the camera. Phoenix won't stop talking. Uh, this just isn't going well for me. I mean, the workout's kicking my butt, but working out with kids at home, uh, no matter what anyone says, 
It's so hard. Oh my god, close your legs, Phoenix. I've just had like five to ten minute break. I didn't want Ollie to be walking around, so I thought, hmm, maybe he would like a nap. So I went and put him in his bed and he fell asleep instantly. So now it's really quiet in here and it's really good. I cannot do jumping jacks without wetting my pants. Just mum things, yay! Last one, I could really feel the burn. I think the first one kicked my butt more, but the the second video, I could really feel a burn. It, it still kicked my butt, but not as much as the first video. I'm not filming day two, but I will see you on day three, and hopefully I can do these exercises better than I did today. <laughs> Yesterday I didn't film but I did exercise but it was my mum's birthday yesterday so I ate a lot of food. Some of it was not good food um, but I did eat a lot of healthy things. I just ate way too much and I did have two glasses of lemonade which is very bad but I still haven't had a Pepsi Max. I'm very proud of myself for that and I have been limiting the amount of snacking I've been doing. So far, like this is only day three and I'm feeling really good. And I I don't feel like eating junk food. And I don't feel like drinking a Pepsi. It's probably gonna kill me in a couple of days, like just trying to stop myself from having anything junk. All right, let's get this over with. I'm dead already. Phoenix has decided she wants to join me for a workout. Did you finish your lunch? No, I'm so full. I'm getting old. Oh, my neck. My neck is going to snap. No, it's not going to snap. I am done and red and a bit sweaty. Working out with Phoenix next to me is pretty fun and funny because she likes to do some commentary and she calls me beautiful and she says, Mom, I love you. What a weirdo. Aww. She's four and she she likes to copy what I do and like she doesn't- Yes, I do. Excuse me, bitch? But I'm still four. <clears throat> you are still four. Yeah. Um, so I don't know how people do these videos. I haven't like paid attention to many, but I'm not gonna film tomorrow and day five is a rest day. So I will see you on day six. Hello, I have just finished day seven's workout. I'm sorry for not filming. It's really hard to film when there's a baby walking around. Um, he's in bed right now, but he wasn't when I first started the workout. So that's why I didn't film today. And I literally have to leave in like 10 minutes to go pick up Phoenix from kinder. Filming's a bit hard. <laughs> so let's recap starting from day five. That was my rest day. Look what I did. When nighttime came, I was bored and I was hungry and I didn't want to cook because the kitchen was messy. So yeah, I hadn't been home to clean the house to get ready for dinner time. Um, so I said to Alex, can you please get KFC on the way home? And him having no self-control, he got KFC on the way home. And of course, with my meal, I had a Pepsi Max. Day six, I once again was not home. I didn't work out at home. Um, so I did my workout somewhere else. But before that, I did another 75 minutes on the treadmill. What is wrong with me? So yesterday, day six, dinner time came around. I cooked veggies, so that's good, but I decided to have a can of Pepsi Max. Day seven, I have yet to have a Pepsi Max, but you never know what's gonna happen at the end of the day. Now, talking about the exercises, I can tell that I've gotten better. I'm just really struggling with 
doing the ground workouts on the rug because it hurts and it makes me not want to do them. <laughs> Ew! Getting bingo wings at 22! Ah! There is my recap. I will see you at some point. I'm thinking after this two weeks, I'm thinking of doing another two week or like one month challenge where I do only standing workouts because I hate the rug. A lot of people, like if you're really unfit, you don't want to, you don't want to use your like upper body strength to like be pushing yourself up, do up and down planks. Like a lot of people don't like that and they don't like doing like hip dips either and stuff like that. So if you want me to do a two week or one month challenge where I do only standing workouts, then let me know in the comments because I will be happy to do that for you guys to show my results of like just standing. I will see you on another day. Bye! I finally got a yoga mat and there's only five days left so no point in that but I feel so much better about doing floor exercises because they don't hurt. I'm not getting rug burn anymore when I do up down planks. So this is like a blessing and I'm so happy that I finally found one and it only cost me $7.50 from Kmart so good I can tell that because of the yoga mat my floor exercises have improved a lot I'm going to be honest I have been quite naughty the past few days I have not been able to control myself with snacking I've been eating a lot of grapes which makes me feel really bloated we have Protein balls, which I've been eating way too many of them. I have been drinking Pepsi. I had Pepsi last night. I had Pepsi the night before. So I haven't been very good, but I've been drinking a lot more water. I've been snacking a lot less than I used to. I only have to do two workouts today, so I'm probably going to feel like I need to do more because I've been doing three to four workouts every single day, even on my rest days. I feel like having two today is gonna leave me unsatisfied. All right, I'm gonna get Phoenix changed into her active wear because she keeps asking me and we'll get started. Oh, I have a red face here. It's a red face. Are you right? <laughs> no, you farted! No, I didn't! Yes, it did. Phoenix. I don't know why, but I'm finding these harder and harder to do. Maybe it's the Pepsi that I have the night before. I don't know, but that one was a bit hard. <sighs> Honestly, I can't wait until the last day. I'm so sick of doing up and down planks. The other ground things aren't as bad, but up and down planks are the worst. I don't know if you've ever noticed my channel, but I have, I have this thing and leaning on that, putting all of my body weight on that, is hard. I will see you on day 14. It's time. <laughs> Today is my last day and I am so excited because that means I don't have to do any more floor exercises. Thank God. I somehow have injured my arm and my wrist. Only this side. This side is fine. But this side hurts so bad. And I, I know because of that, I'm going to really struggle today. Not something you want to do on your very last day. But I'll see if I can push through. If I do any bad exercises today, let's just blame it on my sore hand. All right? Sure. Today's workout session that you will see will be different from the other days. I'm going to be putting day one on one side and day 14 on the other side, just to show if I've improved with anything. Um, I hope I have, or else this two weeks is just a complete waste. <laughs> All right, let's get this over with. You make me move, you make me dance, you make my heart beat, beat super fast. You lift me up, you make me laugh. Baby, you're the best I ever had. Beep, beep, 
super fast. <laughs> has decided that she wants to go to sleep at 1 13 p.m. so she would like the curtains shut. I'm sorry if the lighting's bad from now on it shouldn't be too bad. I did it. I did it. I did it. Two weeks. Oh, I'm I'm very proud of myself. I will see you tomorrow morning for the end result. Welcome back to the worst lighting ever. But hey, I did it. I actually did it and I feel awesome. I did have some slip ups. I had pizza a few nights ago. I just couldn't control myself, but I'm really proud of myself for exercising every single day. There was never a time where I thought like, oh, I can't continue this video. I can't do it anymore. Like I, I feel amazing. And before I show you my after shot and compare them, I just want to say like, I 100% recommend this challenge. If you want to feel a lot better about yourself, if you want to feel like you have more energy, if you just, if you just want like, if you want a lifestyle change and motivate yourself, definitely try this challenge. The link to the challenge will be below and you can save it into your YouTube playlist. Now are you ready to see what I look like now or what? Okay, if you were a bit disappointed that I'm not like super skinny with rock hard abs, well, you shouldn't have expected that in the first place. It's only been two weeks. But I can see a difference and I'm really happy and I'm not going to stop here. I didn't lose much weight at all. I am now 63.2 kilos. I'm gonna link two other videos down below. These two people inspired me the most. The first one is Caitlin Fitch. She's a good friend of mine and I, I love her so much and her channel definitely deserves so much more love. She's doing the hourglass challenge. The other person is Susie J Todd. Her channel has blown up so fast because of her Chloe Ting video. Her results were just mind-blowingly insane. Go check out their videos and subscribe to their channels and just show them some love. Don't forget, I did mention that I am interested in starting a standing only workout challenge and I'm definitely gonna do that. I'm actually gonna start that tomorrow. So if you're interested in seeing that, only standing challenges, no ground stuff, then subscribe to see the end result. On my channel, I do mostly fashion haul videos with a twist. Like I do, are they big boob friendly? Or trying the ugliest clothes from this place and things like that. So if you are interested in something like that, then also make sure to subscribe. Not just for workout videos, but for my regular videos too. Anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it there. I really hope I've inspired at least one person. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment below, follow me on Instagram, check out my clothing brand. If you want to see more of my videos, make sure to subscribe if you're not already. That will really mean a lot to me. And until next time, goodbye.